Imagine a ghost. A ghost worth 130 billion forged from steel and silence. It is being constructed right now in a top secret race against time. This is not a ship. This is the Doomsday Machine, the last fortress, and the most dangerous stealth weapon ever designed by mankind. Its name is the Columbia Class Submarine. The drama begins with a problem. The silent guardians of America, the Ohio Class Submarines, are 40 years old. They are the monsters of the Cold War, and they are aging. Their reactors are nearing the end of their lifespan. The nuclear deterrent, this life insurance for the nation, is at risk. A successor must be created, and it must be something beyond all imagination. Enter the shipyard, where the District of Columbia, the first of 12, is taking shape. This is a game worth billions of dollars. Each submarine is estimated to cost over $10 billion, not including development costs. The entire program is one of the most expensive defense projects in history. The pressure is relentless. The first submarine must begin its first patrol by 2031. No delays are allowed. But why is it so expensive? Because you are not just buying a submarine, you are buying invisibility. In underwater warfare, one rule exists. Noise is death. And the Columbia class is designed to be the quietest moving object ever built. It has no noisy mechanical gears like older submarines. Instead, it is a revolution, a permanent electric drive system. Its nuclear reactor, a heart that can beat continuously for 42 years without refueling, is solely used to generate electricity. That energy powers a massive electric motor, turning a propeller that produces almost no sound. It is a black hole of sound in the ocean. To enhance silence, it features a special extern design, allowing it to maneuver and turn with deadly agility without emitting any sound signals. And what does this superior war machine carry? Its teeth. Inside that stealthy shell are 16 Trident D5 ballistic missile launch tubes. Each Trident is an intercontinental strategic weapon, a harbinger of doom. And each missile carries multiple, independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MRVs, each capable of hitting a separate city thousands of miles away. Just one Columbia-class submarine, lurking somewhere in the depths of the ocean, is enough to deliver an unimaginably destructive retaliatory strike, completely obliterating the enemy. Its power is absolute, but is it truly invincible? Can the enemy destroy it? This is the 3D chess being played at the bottom of the ocean. The enemy never sleeps. Russia is launching new Borei A-class submarines, also extremely quiet and equipped with hypersonic missiles. China is rapidly expanding its Jin-class submarine fleet, carrying Changjin missiles. The countermeasure for Colombia is not a silver bullet. It is a global hunting network. It is the enemy's hunter-killer submarines, like the Akula or Sea Wolf class, designed solely to hunt these ghosts. It is anti-submarine aircraft dropping sonar buoys, surface ships towed with massive passive sonar arrays, and most terrifyingly, a future of AI-connected underwater drone swarms continuously scanning the ocean. But the Columbia class was designed with one purpose, to make the Seek part of Seek and Destroy a mathematical impossibility. By combining absolute silence, an advanced sonar-absorbing hull, and a reactor that never needs to rest, it can vanish into the ocean's background noise for months on end. In the end, what is the most ironic truth of this great war machine? It is the most superior, most expensive, most destructive weapon ever built with a single objective, to never be fired. Its victory is not a battle. It is a silent patrol, an eternal ghost ensuring that no adversary ever dares to press the start button.